So a few of you have been asking me about what I do at night time and what I do in the morning. Um, so I'm just going to go through my nightly routine. Uh, right now I'm wearing my Swanies blue blocking glasses. I do this to put them on about an hour, an hour and a half before I go to sleep. Here's why. This overhead light disrupts your sleep. We live in this artificial light world. You can see in my living room here, there's, I've got some low lights here, but I've also got like the, 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 the overhead light. And all this stuff is blocking your circadian rhythm. And your circadian rhythm is your internal body clock. And your internal body clock wants to know when it's nighttime and when it's daytime. But unfortunately, because we're living in this artificial light, our body thinks that it's daytime all the time. Because you think about it, there's the light. If you're not wearing blue blocking glasses and you're just you know, living in the light, it's triggering your brain into going, okay, it's daytime. But the reality is, is that it's nighttime. Look, it's nighttime outside. It's time to go to sleep. So in order to trick your body or trick your circadian rhythm into thinking that it's nighttime, you need to block the blue light. And the blue light is what comes out of the screen that you're watching me on right now. If you're watching me on your computer screen and it's nighttime, you should be wearing blue blocking glasses like these. These are mine, Swannies. Um, there's an app called Flux where you can put that on your, on your computer screen, download it onto your laptop, and it'll, it'll, it'll uh, take out a lot of the brightness level um, that your screen emits. If you're watching TV at nighttime, it's emitting blue lights. If you're uh, looking at your computer, your cell phone, um, it's emitting blue light. I mean, it's always emitting blue light, but at nighttime, you don't want that blue light. You need to block it. So I created this, these pair of uh, Swannies. Um, they're mine. Uh, called Swanick by Swannies. You can go to, if you text 44222, that's the number of blue blockers. I'll send you details on that. And if you want some sleep tips in general, if you text the word sleep tips, that's one word, to the number 44222, then I'll send you um, a PDF book on seven ways to sleep better. So uh, my brother Tristan and I, Tristan Swanick, um, created these glasses because we were having problems sleeping. I read up about them. My friend told me about, you know, blocking blue light. I tried them out with an ugly pair um, and they worked. And I got those big safety goggles that you wore and I wore them like an hour and a half before I went to sleep. And I found that I fell asleep quicker and my sleep was better. So then I just designed a fairly stylish pair so you can wear them out socially and people don't think you look like a freak because you're wearing safety goggles. <laughs> so anyway, this is my nightly routine. It's now, what time my watch is busted at the moment? Hang on, what time is it? It's 9.24 p.m on a Sunday. So what I'm doing is Jim Rohn, uh, the motivational coach always says, prepare for tomorrow today. So on my board over here, um, I wrote down what I've got to do in the morning. So let me just flip this over here. Uh, if you've got any, if you've got any comments that you want to make right now, just leave a comment right now. I can see the comments. Um, if you've got any questions, but this is what I did, did for tomorrow. I write down my Monday admin, so it's right in front of me, and I've got I've got to pay a couple people. Uh, I've, this is my one thing. Like you always focus on one thing that you've got to achieve in the day. That no matter what, you get through that. And then I've got some invoicing I've got to do. So tomorrow morning is all about um, admin, and the one thing is this thing to do with my 30 day no alcohol challenge. So I've got that circled, that's my one thing, and then all of these other little things are uh, little side things I gotta do. Um, what else do I do? So I get my gym bag ready, this is my gym bag, because when I wake up in the morning going to um, uh, go to the gym, so I've prepared that. So I've got my water bottle in here, okay, ready to go. And I've got my so anyway, I've got, I get in my gym bag ready before I go, before I go to sleep at night. And then in the morning, I always put my gym clothes at the end of my bed. So when I wake up tomorrow morning from bed and I get out, that's what I'll see. So I'll put them on. And just the simple act of putting that on first thing in the morning um, is enough for me to, you know, 95% chance I'll actually go to the gym versus when I don't leave the clothes out, uh, I might wake up and go, oh, should I go to the gym, should I not? And then I've got to fumble around trying to find it. It's a real bit of a pain, right? So uh, the visual cue of leaving that um, gym bag, uh, all those clothes rather, out um, makes you more likely to actually uh, put the clothes on and go to the gym.
And studies have shown that people who exercise in the morning tend to have, uh, stick to a long-term exercise regime, more so than people who uh, do exercise at night time. So if you can, try to do exercise in the morning because that will really ensure that you stick to it and make it a habit. And when you stick to that habit, then uh, obviously you're going to get a lot of uh, long-term health out of that. So there you go. There's my nightly routine. Um, I'm not sure if this is inverted, like was you seeing this? Oh no, it's not. So yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, um, I'm on. There's a lot. Seems like a lot here, right? But I'm doing a lot of stuff on Snapchat. I'm on James Swanick. Obviously, I'm on Instagram, uh, YouTube, Periscope, Pinterest, Facebook, James Swanick Show podcast, and on Twitter. Snapchat is what I'm really doing in most of it at the moment. So if you're on Snapchat, follow me because uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff on how I live an alcohol-free life there and do a lot of health things. I'll be interviewing a lot of health experts. Um, I'll be doing a um, Ty Lopez conference on Wednesday and Thursday this week that I'm flying to San Francisco to watch the Super Bowl. I'm a big Denver Broncos fan, so I'm looking forward to watching the Broncos take on the Panthers in San Francisco. I'm not sure I'm actually going to go to the game because tickets are like $3,500 and I don't know if I really want to spend $3,500 on a damn, damn game ticket. Seems a little bit excessive to me. Uh, but anyway, if you want to follow me doing that, follow me on Snapchat. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.